Dave knows how. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we got a little project that we're working on. It's a little bit different, um, but as y'all know, my channel's kind of all over the place with a lot of different things. And one of the things that's going on with me is um, uh, my cancer situation. And I've got an appointment to go back to the doctor tomorrow. And so I had been working on a little project that I wanted to share with my doctor because uh, my doctor's just been so good to me and um, so I kind of wanted to share this with my doctor so let me show you what I got a lot of you guys have probably looked at um, my uh, some of my poetry and you may or may not have been able to figure out some of this stuff but this poem that I wrote about my cancer and it's titled the monster in me, that monster in me, and looking at this photograph is actually an x-ray, and to me, it looks like a monster, and um, you can see here's an eye right there, and an eye right there, and a mouth right there, and a nose, and some claws over here, and it just looks like an evil little monster, and um, you know, to a, to a trained physician, uh, looking at this, they probably see an x-ray and all the details of an x-ray. Uh, but to me, and probably a lot of you guys out there with the artistic vision, uh, you kind of look here and you kind of see what I see, a monster. Anyway, that's how I came up with the, uh, the, the idea for the poem and the title. And... Uh, the uh, the words and everything were, were basically brought about by communication between um, different things that took place prior to uh, being diagnosed with cancer. My brother passing away with cancer back in July, and um, that was kind of kind of sudden, and um, I, I feel fairly sure that. His cancer was probably about the same as mine. It's just he didn't catch his in time and it transitioned over into something that was a whole lot bigger than what uh, modern science could handle. So anyway, what I want to do is I, I'd like to give a copy of this poem to my doctor as a gift. So today we're going to mount this um, and we've got some hard board here because anytime you mount a photograph in a frame, um, You'll notice when you when you print these photographs and mount them in a frame, as the humidity and weather changes, the photographs wrinkle. And uh, you you may walk past the photograph one day and look at it and it's wrinkled up. And looks like a looks like a uh, somebody drove a boat down the river. It's just you know, rippled out like that. So what we're gonna do to keep that from happening is we're gonna mount it on this hard board. So we got some hardboard here, and we've cut this hardboard so that it's plenty big, so we don't have to worry about being right on the edge and getting it smoothed out. We're going to put it on there, and then we're going to cut this rascal to uh, to fit the photograph that we got. So we've got it on overall size. This is an eight by ten photograph. We're going to go ahead and peel back the adhesive. Go ahead and expose this just like that. I'm gonna bring the picture on over here and we're just gonna slap it right on down in the middle. We don't really have to worry about it too much. We'll use this to go back over it, smooth it out, get any kind of bubbles or anything out of that picture. Looking good, looking good. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to lay this back over top of this, spread it out, and sometimes I have a hard time getting it on there even. It's not quite even. It got a little sticky over here. Maybe got a little sticky over here. It's kind of hanging over right there. But you can see through there the picture outline. So now we can just take our framing square. We're going to lay our framing square up here and get an edge 
and just go ahead and cut this thing. Now, um, if your eyesight's bad, like mine is not that great, then you can utilize a piece of wax paper. And in fact, I think I'm going to go grab a piece of wax paper that we can throw over top of this, and I'll show you what that looks like. And uh, that may work out better for me anyway. Let me grab a piece of wax paper. Okay, so we just got some cut right wax paper. We're going to grab the end of the roll. So that's perfect. We'll go ahead and lift this back up. We'll take the cut right wax paper. Lay it right down across there. And now we can see this really good coming through there and now we can go ahead and put this straight edge on and we're just using a framing square and we're going to get a a new sharp razor blade and we're just gonna go on across gently Gently, we're not trying to cut all the way through in one stroke. We're going to take multiple strokes. And then that way we get a nice clean cut right on that edge. We'll go ahead and flip it around on this side. And get this other edge. Get it right to the edge. Hold it there and we're going to go easy. Easy again. Easy again. And one more time. Oop. Back up. And it should be, there we go, perfect. And now, we'll go across here, get him lined up good. And come across nice and easy. That first cut, you really got to go slow with that first cut. So that you don't get... Oh, Caddy Wampus. Out of whack. Oh, we're looking good. Looking real good. And there we go. Now, so now we've got a 8 by 10 it's on nice hard board and this is gonna look nice this is gonna this is gonna be a, a nice fit everything looks looks good so I like to use these this type of framing and um, it's relatively inexpensive this right here I bought at um, Hobby Lobby they also sell it at uh, AC Moore Michael's Craft Store places like that got it taped up pretty good So this is uh, the two 10 inch long sides, flat black, and then we bought two eights. Okay, 
so then the eights do the sides and then when you buy these you get this little baggie that has uh, your various fittings in it and there's the fittings you get some springs a bunch of springs and then you got your corner pieces and your corner pieces so you you got corner pieces that have screws and corner pieces that don't have screws and you match those up like that and you stick them in here like this I'm gonna have to get a screwdriver so we can tighten it down so we got a 8 inch piece here that's gonna go up on a oops 10 inch piece like that and set this off to the side then we got another angle piece goes here and then an 8 inch piece like that and we'll get a screwdriver and we'll tighten those down see if we can find a screwdriver around here Switch that thing from Phillips to a straight. And it was a Phillips. Right back we go again. And just snug these down. Like that. Yeah, that's a nice tight fit. I just kind of inspect your corners, make sure they meet up good. This one's a little bit off right here, so we'll loosen this one up. Loosen this one up. See if we can't get a little bit better. Okay. That's not too bad. Okay, and then you got you got these pieces right here, and those are the hooks. And they'll go in there like that. And that's what the photo actually will... The frame will actually hang from the wall with these. And we'll we'll readjust these uh, later after we get it all the way together. We'll readjust these. And typically what I like to do is I'll, I'll measure and put these about three quarters of the way up towards the top. But for right now... We're just going to snug these down so that they're locked in position. They're not sliding all over the place. And the next thing is um, the glass. And I got this glass at uh, Hobby Lobby. Glass is expensive. Especially if you buy good glass and any photograph or piece of art that's worth hanging on a wall is certainly worth a decent piece of glass to hang it with. So we bought this glass and this is actually museum quality glass. and it's glare resistant and when you look at it down here it says it's got written on there this side faces artwork score opposite side so this side faces the artwork that means that this side that's up is going to go against the work like that okay and so that's gonna be behind that glass just like that 
We're going to go ahead and flip it over. Slide him on down in there. Just like that. Now we get us some more of these. like that and then these springs they get pressed down in there so we're just going to take these springs and we're going to press them right down in here and slide them up under press them down slide them under framed up and ready to hang it on the wall and uh, being as it this is uh, glare resistant you can I mean I'm, I'm, you could actually see my reflection better when we were showing the picture up here my, my, my reflection was reflecting off of the photograph more than it's reflecting off of this glass and um, so it really makes it a nice way to display uh, photographs and uh, artwork and stuff like that around your house uh, this this uh, museum grade glass is what they call it is well worth the few extra dollars that it costs for it and over at um, Hobby Lobby they actually allowed me to use a coupon for the glass which gave me 40% off and 40% um, off is is a pretty good savings on the glass this is an 8 by 10 and I'm hoping that my doctor uh, will appreciate it and accept it in the manner that it was intended. Um, I'm, I'm very grateful for everything that he did for me. Um, he, he, he found out that I didn't have any money and uh, that I didn't have any insurance and he actually agreed to do surgery on me free of charge and um you know you talk about prayers being answered uh i've got so many people praying for me and that's why i always say prayers are like gold to me um if it wasn't for all the people praying for me i'd probably never been hooked up with this doctor and um had him uh do everything that he's done for me at at no charge uh I wish the hospital would have been like that because my, my initial uh, diagnosis when I was in the hospital, that bill keeps coming and uh, haven't been able to pay it yet. So <laughs> we'll see what happens with, with, with that. Uh, I'm, I'm talking to them and trying to work something out, but it's, uh, you know, this medical stuff can be expensive. 
So anyway, thanks for watching my channel. I hope you I hope you enjoyed it. I, I hope this wasn't too far uh, out of the out of the ordinary. I, I know it's uh, you know my channel's kind of all over the place, and a lot of a lot of subscribers are uh, one subject type subscribers. They 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 come to my channel for one specific subject, and and my channel's kind of got varying different degrees of subject on subject matter on there. I appreciate you guys bearing with me um, as far as my channel being kind of not exclusive to one subject. Thank you for watching. Appreciate the thumbs up. The subscriptions always give me a good kick in the head. And I could use a good kick in the head. So um, thanks for dropping by. Have a great day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.